Have you ever had a door close? Have you ever had an experience where it seemed like God closed the door for you temporarily or perhaps permanently? And these can be difficult experiences. They can be a test of our faith. They can even cause us to feel a bit disappointed with God if, if God has done something that we didn't expect and the plans that we had were kind of derailed. Mm. Um, so it's something Caleb and I were talking about briefly yeah. yesterday. And uh, so I just thought it'd be good if you could share, Caleb, your, your experience of this kind of thing that's happened in your life. Yeah, so um, I had a plan that I'd kind of been working together for quite some time. Uh, maybe about four years I think uh, and it was the plan to get overseas to somewhere in Asia to work full-time as a missionary to share the hope of Jesus with people in far-off places who don't have much hope of access um, and this year it was all kind of coming together I had a three-month training phase in New Zealand that I was going to attend and then straight after that I would go to the Himalayas for two years for ministry and it was in the midst of that when coronavirus started happening, about two months into my time in New Zealand. Um, it's when it all started to ramp up, countries started to close borders, and we were kind of just wondering what was going to happen. And the news got delivered to us that we all had to fly home, and we couldn't stay where we were, and that our time in New Zealand was over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so w was there a feeling of disappointment throughout the... The students and, and in your own heart as well yeah it was it was actually a really sad day when everybody got that news because everybody really really loved it in new zealand there was maybe about a hundred of us uh doing that training together and yeah it was just really sad seeing everybody get that noise, yeah. uh, that news at the same time and then for everyone to go home and kind of be out of that environment back at home when they were expecting to be somewhere yeah. across the world at that point yeah um, it was it was hard um, we all did stay in contact a little bit and noticed similar struggles that happened as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was definitely a hard time. Yeah. yeah. So how did you move from that initial disappointment to feeling more settled and just having a sense that, hang on, maybe this something good is actually happening here? How did, how did that happen for you? Yeah, um, it was in about the first week of me being home. It's been about three months since I got home. I was reading through the book of Acts and I noticed this story about Paul uh, finally trying to get his way to Rome. And on his way there, there's this wind that they've dubbed the Northeaster, which had a bit of a notorious reputa reputation, that they um, got hit by in this massive storm that blew them completely off course. They had to throw the supplies over overboard, they had to cut their anchors and leave them in the sea, and they eventually end up shipwrecking on this island called Malta. And I really identified with that. I thought, you know, I was on my way to this place that I've been trying to get to for ages. And this northeaster called coronavirus came out of yeah. nowhere and kind of cancelled yeah. my plans. Yeah. And I identify with that a lot. But luckily enough, I, I kept reading and I saw that once they got to Malta, there was actually blessing there for them. The people welcomed them and took them in. If they had, if everything had gone to plan, they would have missed out on that blessing. And for me, in this time being in Australia, I've also received blessing that would not have come had I have not come back here. I've learnt more about the type of missionary I need to be when I eventually over need to head over to the Himalayas, um, and I've also just really been blessed by the opportunity to have another season at my church, working in youth ministry and other areas. And even though it has been hard, and I still feel disappointed sometimes, I have that hope that God never wastes a season. God never lets us go through something that doesn't produce a reward. All we need to do is just cling tight to Him in times like this, and yeah. there will be blessing that comes from it. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Carla. That's such an encouraging perspective, and yeah. um, hopefully this will be encouraging to someone watching yeah. who perhaps you've had some disappointments lately, maybe a closed door, and at the, at the time when it happens, it can just feel all negative, yeah. and we don't see anything positive in it. But, um, you know, Jesus closes doors and he opens other doors yeah, and um, he does it according to his good purposes. So yeah, we, let's be confident in that. We can be confident that he's working out his perfect plan. Yeah.